Hi you guys, happy Valentine's Day. In today's video, we will be um, doing the read aloud of a book called Babysitter's Little Sister. And the author is Anne Martin, and the illustration is by Katie Farina. Okay, let's get started. Chapter one. My name is Karen Brewer. I'm six, going on seven years old, and I think I'm very lucky. I'm lucky because my little brother Andrew and I have two families. Are you ready for a week in a daddy's house? Yep, Andrew. Mommy and Daddy got divorced and then m married other people, so now I have lots of twos. Toys, tickly, my special blanket, pairs of jeans, party shoes. I also have two houses. One is big and one is small. Mommy and Seth live at the little house. Midgey, Rocky. A whole bunch of people live at the big house. Daddy, Elizabeth, David, Michael, Shannon, Boo Boo, Christy, Sam, and Charlie. Here are the good things about having two families. Birthdays, Christmas and all those other twos. Here are the bad things about having two families. Different rules, mommy's rules. Put toys back in the toy box, no running indoors. Daddy's rules, don't leave the TV on. Keep closet doors shut, no spying on the neighbors. I forget the spying rule a lot. Andrew and I live at the big house every other weekend. The big house is noisy and busy and someone is always there to play with me. Also, a witch lives next door. I know she's a witch because I spy on her all the time. Daddy's rule is no spying, but I can't help it. A witch is scary, but interesting. The witch says her name is Mrs. Porter, but I call her Morbidia Destiny. Wispy gray hair, herb garden for spells, smells funny, long black robes, midnight. I once told Christy, she put three spells on Boo Boo this year. Christy doesn't believe she's a witch. It just goes to show that even when you're 13, you don't know everything. If you live next door to which, wouldn't you spy? It's important to know what she's up to. Bye, Mommy. Love you. See you Sunday. No one else believes she's a witch, but I know about Morbidi Destiny. I know she's a witch, and I have to protect my family. Hey, wait up. Doesn't it feel like fall to you? Yep but it isn't. I know, but doesn't it feel like it? Yep. It's gray and chilly. The wind is blowing, and look at that full moon. It's fall. Not really, but it feels like it. A good night for witching. Hello, everybody. We're here. Hi, you guys. Hi, Daddy. Come put your backpacks away. Okay. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Boo Boo. Hello, Tickly. Hello, Moosey. Looks like I'm babysitting you, Dave, Michael, and Andrew tonight. Yay! See ya. We're going to be late for the dance. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Elizabeth. Have fun, everyone. Well, guys, it's just us. Do you want to play Old Maid? Meow, meow. Is that coming from the front door? That's Boo Boo. I'll let him in. Ah! Chapter 2. Prowl. Da! Jolt. What is it? What's the matter? That, what's the matter? That is the matter. Midnight? So what? He probably just wants to play with Boo Boo. But Christy, that's the witch's cat. Or maybe the witch herself. And he's blinking at me. I know he's here to put me under a spell. Maybe Morbidi Destiny wants to turn me into a cat. Why would she want to do that? Click. Let's finish our game. Andrew and Dave and Michael are waiting for us. Shut, shiver, shudder. Christy, I'm scared. Oh, Karen, it will be all right, really. What took you so long? For your information, it was not Boo Boo at the door. Who was it then? It was Midnight, Morbidia Destiny's cat. You guys, what's the big deal? The big deal is that a witch's cat, or the witch, her, or the witch herself, was on our front porch. Midnight has never come over here before. I wonder why he chose tonight. Maybe because it's a full moon. The wind is blowing. It's a witchy autumn, autumn night. I think you're scaring your brother. Christy, let's not play old mate anymore. Let's read stories, but not witch stories. I want witch stories. I know which story that's not scary. It's called the tooth witch. It's about a good witch who becomes the tooth fairy. That sounds boring. Now I want another witch story. Not me. No more witch stories. Me neither. No more stories at all. It's bedtime anyway. 
go on up and brush your teeth, all three of you. And Karen, when you're ready for bed, I'll read you the littlest witch. Deal? Deal. Everyone hop into bed. Are you ready for your bedtime story? Once upon a time, there was but all the other witches and the little black kitten. I would like that book even better if we didn't have our own witch right next door. We don't. We do. Good night. Stop thinking about witches. Chapter 3. Do you want to know a secret? I'm afraid of the dark. Not very afraid, just a little afraid. Well, maybe more than a little afraid. But don't think I'm a baby about it. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. I'm not sleepy. Too spooky. Click. Karen, what are you doing? Nothing. More beauty of destiny is a witch. That's a fact. I've seen her. I've seen her in her witchy black clothes lots of times. I've seen her funny hair. I've seen her herbs, and I've, and I've seen her broom. But do you want to know something strange? I've never seen her ride a broom. All witches ride brooms. Maybe witches only ride brooms at night. That would make sense. If they rode them in daytime, people would see them. I'll watch more Beauty Destiny's house when, until I see her get on her broomstick. Then I'll call Christy. When Christy comes to see Mrs. Porter riding a broom, she will finally believe that she's a true witch. Russell, Russell, loom. Creak. <laughs> da! Karen, Karen, what's wrong? Are you sick? Did you hurt yourself? Turn off the light. Now come look out the window. Hurry! I don't see anything. Me neither. Then why did you scream? Because Mrs. Porter really is more beady destiny. The witch! I saw her and Midnight fly out the window on a broomstick. Oh, Karen, you must have been dreaming. I... Oh, Karen, you must have been dreaming. I wasn't! I hadn't even gone to sleep yet. Are you sure you went to bed an awfully long time ago? I did. Karen, would you like to sleep in my room tonight? Can I bring my nightlight and Moosey and Tickly? Of course. And I'm going to pull the shades down so we can't see outside. I'd like that. Are you, sleep are you sleepy yet? No, I'm too scared. Still? A little. Karen, I've never seen you scared. Calm down. I can't. Mrs. Porter is a witch. Open the door wider, please. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time. Chapter 4. Oh no, more beauty of destiny. Did last night really happen? All quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Where's daddy? Smooch. He's out in front working in the garden. Can we have, do we have any crunchos? I think so. Today's going to be a special day. Something interesting is going to happen. Time to check on more beauty of destiny's house. Nothing. Nothing. Still nothing. Karen, what are you doing? Looking at Morbidi Destiny's house. You know what? I don't think she's home. So? I don't think she ever came back after she flew off last night. And you know what that means, right? What? It means she's at the witch meeting. Something is going to happen. Soon. Karen, Karen, Karen. Christy, Christy, Christy. <laughs> Ding dong. I'll get it. What if it's more beauty destiny? Who is it? It's Hanny. Oh, Hanny, yay. Hanny Papadakis, best friend, when at daddy's. You'll never believe this. Ooh. Hey, I have an idea. Let's pretend we're good witches. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Ta-da. We need Boo-Boo. We have to make him sit on one of the brooms. There he is. Wake up, wake up. Get on the broomstick. Oh, never mind that. Come on, Hanny. You be you be witchy witch and I'll be Samantha Twitchit. Now let's make up witch rhymes. Witch rhymes? Yeah, listen to this one. Witch, witch, you give me a twitch. You make my ear twitch. Itch. <laughs> witching time, witching time, making up a witching rhyme. Russell, Russell. The witch at night gave me a fright. She was a very scary sigh. Shh! 
Listen. Russell, Russell, peek. <laughs> oh no. Russell, Russell, peek. He he he. Oh no. Chapter five. It's more beady destiny. Oh no. Where are her hat and broomstick? I guess she doesn't need them in the garden. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. Squeeze. Come on, she knows we're here. She's cackling at us. Meow. No, she's not. At least I don't think she is. She's cackling at midnight. I can see him now. I, I know what I'm doing is spying. I can't help it. I just have to hear what Morbidia Destiny is saying. Russell, Russell, still hidden. Phew. Midnight. 12 o'clock. Midnight. Does she mean the cat or the middle of the night? Important meeting. Meow. My stomach feels funny. Company coming. Meow. Ouch. You're holding my hand too tight. You're going to squeeze my fingers off. Sorry. Yes, yes. We must be ready. Ready. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oops. What's that? Who's there? Gasp. Slam. Hanny, this is terrible. I know. She almost caught us. Not that. That's not the scary part. Terrible part. The scary, terrible part is a witch meeting. I don't know where more beauty destiny went last night. That doesn't matter now. But you heard her. When she was in the garden, she said, Midnight, important meeting, company coming. We must be ready. Morbidia Destiny is going to have a meeting of witches at her house at midnight tonight. No, no, you're wrong, Karen. Morbidia Destiny was talking about midnight the cat. Was not. She meant midnight the time. I'm sure of it. Oh, Karen, this is terrible. I know that's what I said. Thanks, Shannon. Hi, girls. What have you been up to? We were spy nothing. What have you been up to? Gardening. I think I'll plant an herb garden somewhere. I should talk to Mr. Porter about it. No! Smash. Oops. Karen, for goodness sake, what's wrong? I'm sorry. Why did you scream? Don't you want your father to talk to Mrs. Porter? She's perfectly nice. Your grandma's a good friend of hers. I don't want to think about grandma being friends with a witch. Oh, I don't, want I don't to think um, about grandma being friends with a witch. Oh, I don't um like herbs. Please don't grow them, Daddy. They're gross. Come on, Hanny. Let's go to my room. That was close. I didn't want Daddy to know we've been spying. But oh, Hanny, just think. Tonight at midnight, a whole flock of witches is going to be right next door. Thanks for watching part one. Make sure to stay tuned for part two. And other than that, please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Bye.